Fall is by far the best time of the year for fashion and in this video we're going to be talking about some of the biggest and best trends you guys need to follow. We're going to be talking about the best tops, pants, jackets, you name it, I got you guys covered. So let's start off with the first segment which are shoes. I have seven that I'm going to be talking with you guys about but the first one is by far the biggest. It is the Air Jordan 1 Chicago reimagined that's dropping in November. This is going to be by far the biggest sneaker release of the entire year for three main reasons. Number one is that it's an OG Air Jordan 1 colorway that hasn't been released in a number of years. Number two is that it has, including the box itself, the shoe has uh, some distressing details which has become a very big trend in sneakers when we think of the ALD um, 550s from New Balance that have the beige midsole. And number three is that these are gonna fetch a insane high resale value which means that whether people like the shoe or they hate the shoe, they are going to be going after it because they know that it's going to have a high resale value, which is going to drive up the demand. So a lot of people are going to be going after it and it's going to be all over the sneaker news, if you will. Number two is from one of the best brands of the year. By far, they are number one, in my opinion, in terms of sneakers, and that is New Balance. New Balance has been killing it with two models in particular that I think you guys really need to get this fall. Number one is the New Balance 2002R. They have seen some great collaborations like the Basement Improved ones, which have this green, black with the white New Balance logo. I don't know if you guys understand how difficult it is to make a, a shoe with a black midsole look good, and they absolutely killed it with this one. And then there has been a ton of great GR colorways that are readily available for you guys to purchase right now. I've gotten an olive pair. I've gotten a navy pair. There's gray ones that you can buy. So I'll leave links in the description for you guys to check out. However, this shoe is by far one of my favorites. When you think of the protection pack that released as well, these are an excellent, excellent model. The second one is the New Balance 990 V3. We've seen a ton of made in USA um, 990 V3s that have dropped that are excellent colorways when you think of the purple one. They are designed by Teddy Santis who is the mastermind behind Aime Leon Dor. And uh, yeah, there's been a ton of great colorways coming out. And then as well, probably arguably the sneaker of the year is the Jound New Balance 990 V3 in that green colorway. Those are excellent. So when you factor in all of the two models, the colorways, the impact that they've been able to have on sneakers, I mean, you really can't miss with either. Next up is ASICs. You guys should really jump on the wave. I think they're going to have a big splash towards the end of the year, moving on into 2023. When we think of the Anderson Bell Proto Blast, this is just a really unique looking shoe. Um, something that looks different, has some cool storytelling elements to it. Um, ultimately, just working with some great collaborators, like Awaken Y is another one. This is a really clean colorway that released earlier in the year. In Overall, they're killing it with the Gel Kayano. We think of Jound and their collaboration. They're fetching for a high price tag right now, which I don't think you guys need to pay because there's a lot of similar Gel Kayanos that look and have that same look and feel. Either way, you can't go wrong with the suede versions. They're just really clean. So Asics, they're, they're really moving up there in terms of popularity. Again. Moving along, one of the biggest sleeper brands of the year, which is Solomon. Of course, the X-T6 and the X-T4 have been all over Instagram, TikTok. They're popping up everywhere, and they make for a great fall sneaker because they are a hiking shoe at the end of the day, so they're going to be able to tread through the rain and all of the different elements that may you may come across in the fall time. But when you think of collaborations aside, they have a great bunch of GR colorways to, that they can live off of. You know, when we think of that orange colorway, you know, I actually picked up a new, uh, navy pair which I really love I was just wearing them the other day they look great with a pair of dark blue jeans um, regardless uh, there's also the pro advance which is like a new model that they've come up with and those ones have been really making a splash um, working with some great collaborators on that one but just the overall the white the black you know the gray with the red it's just an amazing shoe in my opinion and uh, Solomon I mean they're making some great products the fifth shoe is the Adidas Gazelle. The Adidas Samba has taken over, you know, the sneaker game this year. You see them all over the place. However, the success of the Gucci collaboration with Adidas has really increased the popularity, I think, of Gazelles. And I actually just picked up a pair of the black with the gum sole. They also released a blue with the gum sole and the red. So either way, these are really great. There's a ton and a huge catalog of cool colorways and simple colorways of the Gazelle. So if you love that Adidas Samba aesthetic, 
um, then you guys should definitely check out the Gazelle because I think you're going to see the Adidas Gucci collaboration on everybody's sneaker of the year list. Okay, so for number six, we have the Doc Martens 1461 Oxfords. This is a non-sneaker shoe, uh, but regardless, it's just a really great sort of transitional piece from, you know, fall to winter. And, uh, you know, the Oxfords is just a really smart look. And if you guys don't like the bulk of, say, like a boot, but you want something that has some more substance and... And can be dressed up and dressed down like you could pair these with cargos or you could pair it with a suit they're that versatile i just grabbed my first pair and i can't wait to wear them i'm really excited to have these quality is on point and they're very reasonably priced doc martens is a legacy brand that's been around you know through all of the generations whether it's punk in the 70s all the way to now so you really can't mess with that one number eight is the birkenstock boston of course um this has been a trend throughout the entire year i would recommend more so the uh, the leather versions or the vegan leather versions just because the suede can get pretty dirty if it rains or, you know, in the fall. Um, however, the mule mint as... Um as Drew Joyner calls it, is 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 steamrolling. It's getting bigger and bigger. And part of the reason for that is because LVMH, which is Louis Vuitton, Moet, Hennessy Group, that owns a bunch of great luxury brands, purchased Birkenstock. And uh, they've started to introduce all of these mules into the runway, which then trickles out into sort of everyday fashion. So you think of the Dior Birkenstocks, which are excellent excellent uh mules they're obviously very expensive however uh those are uh, really great and you know now we're seeing mules all over the runway so uh if you haven't joined the birkenstock movement yet you really need to jump on so fall is obviously the best time to wear jackets so we'll talk about a few of my favorites uh number one which are vintage nylon cafe racer jackets so this is a racing style jacket and i think just racing gear and vintage racing uh clothes have become very popular with the success of f1 recently uh, so I definitely think you guys should grab some and I'll show you a couple pieces So number one at the high end would be a Mae Door and their pit jacket that they came out with I saw this one in hand. It's excellent However, it's I think 400 USD, which is not necessarily affordable for everybody. However, this is a really really nice jacket um, I actually went to eBay and found some um, that were more affordable of course And I found this limited edition Honda a jacket from the 70s let me tell you something. This jacket is beautiful and there's so many cool details to it and I literally got it for $50. So if you like this type of look, I would your first place to start should definitely be on the resale market. You know, look at Grailed, look at eBay. I got this one from eBay, so definitely check there as well. However, vintage clothing isn't your thing because you prefer more consistent sizing and returns and stuff like that. Uh, one bra a brand that you can check out is Urban Outfitters. They have uh, these nylon racing jackets as well. They come in two colors and they're actually on sale right now. I actually grabbed this green one. It's nice. Uh, I got, I'm wearing a small, I believe. The one thing to keep in mind is it's a little bit cropped. So if you prefer, uh, uh, you know, a little bit longer, um, then you, I recommend sizing up. Uh, next style of jacket is, uh, it's not necessarily a style of jacket. It's more of a print and that is a leopard print. So when I was doing research for this video, I landed on GQ's article for or, you know trends of the year and one of them was leopard print and animal print in general and I think that really goes hand in hand with fall I picked up this one from Stussy it is a mesh white leopard jacket with little hits of green on it let me tell you something this thing is stunning it's beautiful the fit is immaculate on it it is a little bit cropped as well uh, but when you throw a white tee underneath it just gives it that perfect dynamic and length absolutely love these Stussy also makes uh, pants that come in a leopard print as well these ones uh, are really nice they're pretty wide and baggy so if you like that kind of look then they can be perfect for you and they have a drawstring waist as well so two things to keep in mind and uh, you know you could also look to vintage I'm sure there's a ton of leopard print stuff and just in any animal print in general it's fun because wearing these types of pieces give your outfit a little bit more texture a little bit more detail and I think that really lends itself to uh, fall time for sure so either way absolutely love these leopard print jackets okay so let's talk about tops in general so i mentioned earlier that uh, the popularity of f1 and how it's extended into and really given life to the vintage car market in terms of clothing um and i think land rover is a great brand that has come up with some really cool stuff in the past that you can buy right now um whether it's t-shirts or hats you name it um and just in general i think that land rover is killing it with the defender such a stunning car 
I don't want to get too much off topic, but regardless, a, once again, if you don't prefer vintage stuff uh, because you're a little bit scared of how it'll fit or how it'll arrive, don't worry. Um, PacSun actually has a line of Land Rover gear, which is actually really, really nice. Um, so if you prefer um, to get stuff that's new, you should definitely check that one out there. However, if you are a BMW or a Mercedes guy, there is a ton of great product for you guys to choose from on brands like, on sites like eBay, Grailed, the secondary market in general. Etsy is one of my favorite places to buy stuff. So either way, you definitely should jump on top of those vintage car gear. Another style of shirt are rugby shirts. I'm really into this look right now and I'm on the hunt for a couple pairs. I actually have this one uh, that I got from Frank and Oak. It has a nice mustard yellow. And this is a great transition piece from summer to fall just given the color, uh, but it also has long sleeves with the collar. So this is another uh, great piece, and uh, there's so many different options to choose from. There's so many different polo ones, rugby shirts, definitely a vibe. You can pair them with shorts, jeans, you name it, they're endless. Um, and I just find that rugby in the fall time, rugby shirts in the fall, it's just, it's just, they go really hand in hand. Okay, next up, let's talk about pants. I love a good pair of pants, jeans in the fall time. Starting off with OG 107s. These are definitely some vintage pants that you guys should grab right now. Army fatigue pants are, uh, you know, a pair of pants that have been worn and sort of has that military look to it all the way dating back to Vietnam. However, what's characteristic of these ones are the long rectangular pockets along the front and they oftentimes come with uh, button flap pockets on the back as well as these waist adjusters um, as well. So either way, there are a ton of versions of these that you can grab on the secondary market for an affordable price you will have to do a little bit of tailoring. I grabbed a pair and they fit too big. However, I'm gonna bring them to my local tailor and I'm gonna get them hemmed and I'm gonna get them tapered just a bit just because they are these ones are really big. Regardless, the wash on it is amazing and I'm really excited to have these. If you prefer more of the cargo versions, they come with those as well. Now, I actually found a pair off of Amazon and they fit amazing and they're really good for, for what they are. Um, they're obviously affordable and you can throw it in the bag with, and throw it in your cart along with all the other stuff that you get from Amazon. So that's the convenience for sure there. Next up are overalls. If you're looking to stand out, if you're looking to try something new, definitely get yourself a pair of overalls. I grabbed a pair for, off of Amazon as well and they're a nice Dickies brand. In my opinion, the best kind are the ones that have those hickory stripes. What I would do is throw over a work shirt and just give it that work work kind of look to it. I think that's really great. Um, you know, who just styled them recently was uh, um, Andre 3000 in the Supreme uh, tee that he has coming out. So if Three Stacks is wearing them, then I think you guys might also love them as well. So if you guys are looking to see more outfits and styling videos definitely check out this one on how i styled the air jordan 4 definitely i know you'll love at least three outfits in that one or if you want to see me review outfits submitted by you guys check that video right there so i'm going to click on one of those and i'll meet you guys there